We got a new toy. Can anybody guess what it is? So easy because it's in the title. Come on, guys. And gals. As you can tell from the title, we are installing a new lip today, which means we have to remove the easy lip. Um, and we'll go through the full process for both of those. I'm going to show you the lip in a little bit, but I'm super excited. It is an eBay lip and it was only $77 after tax. Your state might not even have eBay tax, so it might just be 70 bucks for you. But I'll link it in the description and feel free to check it out if you want to buy it for yourself. So the lip actually comes in three pieces and hardware, hardware to attach them together with screw points. And my favorite thing about it is that it connects via the clips that's included on the car. So you don't have to drill anything. You don't have to rely on automotive tape. You just use the clips. Is it the most secure way of doing it? I don't know, because I've never used a lip that's secured to the cap, but consider this a tester. If you wanted to screw it onto your car, you could. They provide you uh, the screws for those. And then these silver ones, oh my God, I cannot pick them up right now. These silver ones is what you use to connect um, three pieces together. Work upside down, connect the screws, and we'll just screw them in. That literally took two minutes, and we have our brand new lip. So it is definitely plastic, but I mean, it was 70 bucks on eBay, and it has a carbon fiber look. I actually don't have any carbon fiber components on the car, but maybe this will convince me to convert and apply some more carbon fiber things. So we'll see. A lot of you are probably wondering what makes this lip so special. Why am I converting from an easy lip after ha having talked so highly from it? to a full, I mean like a fake plas um, plastic carbon fiber lip, but that is because this lip is actually the Honda Civic RS lip. I'm pretty sure the RS is what the Australian market gets for their version of the Type R, so that is the Australian Type R lip. I'm pretty sure I've seen some RSs in Thailand too, but that could have been imported. I was between this and the Yofer V2 lip, I think, but ultimately I decided to go for this one. What do y'all think between this and the Yofer lips? Comment down below. I did have an easy lip on there, so we have been slowly and very- oh! See, I, I messed up already. This is, this is why you don't record and pull at the same time. Anyways, we're trying to do it without heat. Heat might make it easier because the glue will soften up but there's definitely going to be residue left. So that's my one complaint about the easy lip is even though it's very sturdy, it can take a beating, taking it off is a little bit of a beezy. Mr. Mechanic is using some goo off or goo gone to remove the residual um, automotive tape on there. We use 3M. I've seen a lot of people just use a polisher or sander and buff it right down. Do it at your own risk and try not to scuff your paint. Not that anyone's going to see what's underneath there, but you know, up to you. You could also just take a blow dryer or a heat gun to it and use your fingers and rub it off, but I hate doing that. I was literally just pooping on using the heat gun and he pulls it out because his OCD was killing him and he really, really had to get every speck out of there. So there you have it. If you want to remove every single piece of glue on there, use the heat gun. Honestly, I can't complain about having a detail-oriented mechanic. I really can't. Lord knows if it was me, I would leave that glue on and I would just cover it with a new lip. Let's be honest. It's the end of an era. I mean, look how good it looks for how beat up it is, honestly. I'm telling you all, this is probably the most economical front lip that you could get for any car. It is universal. It is universal. Can you believe it? 30 bucks. And I have put it through the ringer. So if you're on a budget, consider an easy lip. Look how skinny she looks without a lip on. Hee <laughs> hee, she's nude. Last step before install, we're going to give the car a quick wash. You could just use alcohol and wipe underneath or quick wash or something like that, but we're just going to give the car a wash because she is quite dirty. I'm sending you under. Can you all see the clips? I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just pop off the clips with whatever tool you have. Be gentle, try not to break them. But if you do, you could always just buy them again on Amazon. I am so sorry for how wobbly that was. It's just, I mean, obviously the car is low. Oh. Here's one off. The car's low and I can't see what I'm filming and uh, I mean the mechanic can barely see, see what he's doing so. Where's that lift? Honestly, you could put your car on a lift, get some height on there, but that's a lot of work for, you know, it's such an easy job. <laughs> um, or you can be like us and try to line up the holes on the lip to the clips on the car because it's supposed to fit um, straight on there. 
and where we popped this off seemed like it fit there so let's see if that works Super just as we predicted they did indeed line up so just follow the holes on the lip and you should be able to locate your clips really easily and they just come right off what's awesome about these clip installs is once you find one slot it's really easy to find the rest i'm gonna put you all under and hopefully you can see something but no promises so we discovered that it's not oh it's not a tight fit and i think i just pulled one out so we are gonna install some tape just to be sure so we taped it at three different points the corner and the main front piece and that should do the trick and here she is what do we think do we think this was worth 70 dollars end up having to use 3m tape so we use 3m auto uh tape and it is it is sturdy it is on there Thoughts, Mr. Mechanic, about the whole install and the product in general? They didn't see that. Thanks for following along. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below what you think about the lip or if you're still Team Yofer.